All it's missing is a crown. One is not amused, Philip. Not true. I'm very amused. You say hello to all the viewers. Hmm? Hi guys, it's Saturday. Welcome back to the den. So, yeah, been watching a lot of YouTube a week. Yeah, so specifically, since I was never really a YouTuber as far as watching a lot of the early YouTube stuff, I never really got into Shane Dawson. You know, you're more into like a tutorial kind of... Yeah, I love me a tutorial, whether it's fixing a car or showing how to restore something or just any kind of DIY, even if it's like um, something that I'm not necessarily interested in. Even if it's something I'm not necessarily interested in, it's interesting to me to see how to do things that I wasn't aware of how to do before. Right, so you're into like the more show type oriented YouTube channels versus YouTuber personalities. Ironic. Yes. Uh, yeah, because we do vlogs. So. Right. So I recently stumbled upon watching a bunch of Shane Dawson stuff from the last few trending things that he put out, which were a collab with Jeffree Star. Yeah, so the major one that's been going on for the last couple of weeks, The Beautiful World of Jeffree Star. Yeah. Which is a sequel to The Secret World of Jeffree Star, which was the five-part series he did last year. And so, for those of you who don't know, which I'm, I, I can't imagine there's many people who don't know at this point, it's the series, basically, they're doing a makeup line together. And yes. Merchandise line, and it just follows the business aspect of that in a completely unprecedented behind the scenes yeah. view that they don't usually talk about. So, neither one of us have ever really watched any beauty YouTubers or no, anything like that. It's not but. something I'm like ever been opposed to, it's just something that didn't occur to me to, to watch because it's not. We don't wear makeup, right? So, I like, don't see myself putting on makeup, I don't see myself, you know putting on foundation and, and eyeshadow and mascara and stuff like that. It's just not something that ever really... I mean, well, we're bears, so there's the whole beard thing. I mean, not to say there aren't... There's the sisters of perpetual indulgence. Yeah, this is, I know a couple of bears that are... Uh, a famous one is Bear on, say. Yeah. So but there's I, lots I'm of... talking, like, personally, I know a couple. Right, right, yeah. Uh, so, I mean, it's in the bear community, but like... But that's more of an extended version of what we're talking about. What we're talking about is like genuine cosmetics. Uh, right. From oh, a standpoint More like of, androgyny. Yeah, like your androgyny, your... Um, not necessarily gender bending, I just don't know a better word for it. I mean, I... Expressing yourself. Yeah, expressing, expressing your yourself. identity through makeup. Yeah. And neither one of us... I mean... <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> in my late teens, early 20s, I, yeah, I wore a lot of makeup, and, uh, yeah, so. Oh my god, my cam is so good right now. Now, in my early 20s, like, we're talking like 2021, 20, guys wearing lip gloss and guy liner was, like, huge, and I always had my lip gloss, and I bought cheap, um, strawberry lip gloss, the lip smackers or something like that with the little yeah. ball roll on. His and lip gloss. His lip gloss was good. His lip gloss was popping. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so <laughs> when I went through that whole phase, and um, one winter, I was like obsessed with my lip gloss. I was I was putting it on. I stopped using it, and it dried my lips out so bad, they looked like they started to shrivel up like raisins. They were so dehydrated, plus it was winter, and my lip literally split right in half. Would I ever wear makeup again? Yeah. I, I mean, other than Halloween? Yeah, why not? I, I mean, I couldn't see myself just discounting it all together and saying, no, there's no way I would ever do that. If there, if the, if the opportunity arose and I decided that I it was something that I wanted to start doing, then yeah, I would totally go ahead and do it. I would wear 
a full face of makeup if I wanted to. I would wear nail polish if I wanted to. It, wigs if I wanted to. It's not even like a drag thing. It's not me trying to change my outer shell to to match something. It would be just a, a way to express myself. Right. At least the way that I see it. Yeah, if we ever upgrade to really good equipment, like good cameras, good lighting, all that, and we start filming in 4K or whatever, yeah, um, <laughs> I may start wearing a little <laughs> concealer and some foundation Do they make and stuff. Face tune for that. Because <laughs> yeah, I'm sure I've got a few pores that you could probably dip out of. Yeah. So I mean, I think the bigger the bigger thing here is how that's perceived because there's a certain perception in the bear community especially because you've got burly hairy guys right that makeup is kind of too feminine or not something that bears should do and i completely disagree with that yeah if, I think... if you feel comfortable doing it and you want to do it then i say fucking do it if you're a person who believes in labels i still feel like a label should not define you yeah, I mean, I, I consider myself to be a bear, but I don't think that everything that I am is defined off of that one term. Right. That's just like saying I identify as a gay man, but not everything about me is defined by that. Yeah, yeah, I, I just think it's a um, thing within the community where a lot of bears think that all bears should be masculine and should live up to a certain beauty standard. beauty standard or vision that they have in their head. Right, like a beard. Yeah. Um, you should a be, certain, maintain a certain weight, a certain amount of body hair. Right, you should be a husky and you should be hairy and you should smoke stogies and you should wear whatever clothing you deem appropriate for a bear. Fuck that, really. Just <laughs> fuck that. Be who you are. Be comfortable in your own skin. If you want to wear makeup, wear makeup. If you want to wear a dress, wear a dress. If you want to wear something that's not what a bear should wear, fucking wear it. Be who you are and be proud of who you are. I agree. Completely. Yeah. So that being said, if we were to invest in any sort of makeup, would... Are you saying you, that you could, want to purchase? <laughs> are you saying that you want to purchase the Shane Dawson palette that's coming out on November first? Maybe. <laughs> um, but if we were to, um, I think it would make a great video. Yeah, um, great experience. Kind of like a, a dabbling into, or even like a makeover one. We could have somebody come and show us how to how to do certain things or even do a full face for us in, in like a tutorial type deal. Yeah. Because it's one thing to sit and watch the, the videos on YouTube of tutorials where like Jeffree Star or... Jeffree Stars aren't really tutorials though. They're more like just a vlog while he's doing his makeup. Yeah, they're like reviews of certain products. Right. Though, okay. Oh my god, the reviews are so good. Yeah. <laughs> I was just watching a video of him uh, last night because I was up stupid late because I couldn't sleep doing an ASMR while reading his uh, fiance's DMs on Instagram. Like... <laughs> And it just I, hysterical, and I was cracking up the whole time. <laughs> Probably not what I should have been watching while I was trying to go to sleep, but there you go. Mm. But yeah, I just, I, more than anything, I, I really hope this works out for them. Well, if the merch launch Tuesday... Is any indication. Was it, yeah, it, yeah, it should be good. That, by the way, I was off on Tuesday, and we discovered that the merch launched like two hours after it actually launched. Yeah. Already sold Literally out. Literally everything so was already sold out. So disappointed. Yeah. But it is what it is. They're putting more out, so I yeah. totally want to get one of the pig head bags. Yeah, and, and also, <laughs> also more than anything, I really want this video to kind of reach out to our viewers and make you think, again, like, shatter that image of what you think a bear should look like, or 
um, shatter that image of what you think is masculine and expand that view, expand your horizons to maybe incorporate that, maybe start opening your mind to different possibilities because you never know what all of a sudden you're going to be obsessed with. Like once you get past the fact that it's something you don't think that a man should do or you don't think that a bear should do, you become obsessed and you're like, oh my God, why did I deny myself this before? Mm-hmm. So true. But So very true. That's me on my soapbox. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, the series, really good so far. Yeah, and it's been coming out on like Thursdays or Fridays. It depends on when Shane finishes the editing. So... I don't think that was the last one in the series. No, there's a couple more left. I think he said this one was an eight-parter or something. Yeah. Because so he wants to follow it all the way I through. I am going so. to be hooked throughout the whole thing. Oh, yeah, me too. I am shooketh. <laughs> <laughs> so, I think we are going to leave it there for this video. Um, we have not forgotten about our review of Dark Crystal Age of Resistance. This one has been working six days a week, so we've had that much time yeah. to really do anything. Two weddings this weekend alone. Yeah, that you're that you're doing catering for for your work, right? Two weddings, a banquet, and on Monday is the election. Yeah. So, yeah. Big election here in Canada happening. Who's going to be the next prime minister? Will it stay Trudeau? Will it go to Jagmeet Singh? Or will hell break loose and... Andrew Shear gets elected. Yeah. Not, I don't even want to get into not politics. Not that I'm biased. I'm totally biased. <laughs> so I think that's it for this week, guys. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Have you watched <laughs> The Beautiful World of Jeffree Star? Have you been following this as well? If you have, leave us a comment in the comments below. And uh, let us know what you think, or if you think that I'm full of shit with my high and mighty open your horizons, then let me know that in the, uh, the comments below as well. Bye! <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs> <laughs>